I guess I've just worked hard all my life. From as far back as I can remember, I became a father at the age of 19. My wife was 17 when she had our first child. We weren't married. And I have always provided, I've always had the mindset that it is my responsibility. My dad taught me that in life you have to work hard. Um, nothing's free. You have to be consistent. You have to be disciplined and you have to be respectful. He was consistently, I mean consistently without a doubt, trying to drill into us that we must have a routine. Routine, routine, routine. Um, you're saying, but a man doesn't have a routine, doesn't have anything. My dad always says, get your life in order. Like he says, with a disciplined lifestyle, you can accomplish lots of things. If you maintain routines and make them habitual, um, you won't have to think about work, you'll just do it because it's natural to you. And once you start doing that, loads of doors will open up, people will look at you and say, oh, this is a man of order, we can fit him here. My dad was bang set on discipline. He, everything in our life had to be disciplined. I think, I think it's safe to say my dad had OCD and um, everything, like if you look in the kitchen, all the tins was like in in their suits and they were all faced towards you and everything had to be disciplined. Like we used to say, Oh dad, what would you what, what would you do if we went off to the military? He was like, There's no need. He was, was like, Why? He was like, Because my house is a military. He was saying like that Batman voice, My house is a military. And we, <laughs> we was like, oh, all right then. <laughs> so, you know, cool. Another thing is he used to say to us as well, when you come into manhood, get your finance in order. Because without your finances, you you this and this money is very this world is very money driven. So it's you got to kind of get your finances in order to to move on in life. Without your the money, it's, don't let it be the love of money. Just respect it and use it accordingly. I've worked hard. Um, I've used to when we lived in New Addington. I used to work in Acton, which is probably about 30 miles away. And <clears throat> my routine was getting up at half past four in the morning, uh, catching a 10 to 5 bus from New Addington, which then took us to East Croydon Station. From East Croydon Station, I'd catch a train to Victoria. From Victoria, I'd catch a train to Green Park. From Green Park, I'd catch a train to Acton Town. From Acton Town, you'd get off and you'd have about a three quarter of a mile walk to the factory where I used to work, where I was trained as a mechanical engineer, as an apprentice. And we had to clock in for, before half past seven, we had, I think, three minutes grace. Um, I'd finish work at 10 past four, walk up the track to the train station from Acton, from Acton I'd catch a train to Green Park, from Green Park I'd catch a train to Victoria, Victoria I'd then go to McDonald's and I'd work to McDonald's until about 11.30 at night, this was in Victoria Street, I'd then leave McDonald's, walk to the train station catch a train to East Croydon and normally I'd catch the last bus from East Croydon to New Addington and I'd get home at about half past 12 or thereabouts um, go to bed wake up half past four the next day and go to work I did that for a while <clears throat> and that was just to put food on the table make sure the bills were met other times I'd uh, left London Transport, where I used to work and I was trained as a mechanical engineer. I lived in Brixton and I would, because we didn't have a car, we couldn't afford a car, uh, I'd cycle from Brixton to Imperial Way, which is the old Croydon Airport, uh, to work. It's about 12 miles cycling. I'd have to clock in at half past six in the morning. <laughs> I'll then work till half past six the next morning, that's 24 hours straight. 
then I would cycle home. I'd cycle home in time to have breakfast, with my wife and the children. Maybe I'd take the kids to school while, while my wife went to work. I'd come home, sleep for the day, and then the following morning, I'd start again at 6.30 and so on. So, at the end of the day, it's not a deal. Because you, you just do what you've got to do. And um, I look back on those times with fondness, hard as they were, I look back on times of fondness because I was able to do it. I was able and I did it because I had the desire to do it. understood why I shouldn't be in the in the wrong places that uh, the reality kind of hit me everything that my, my dad was trying to save me from I walked into and then it was like at that moment in time I kind of understood why my dad's telling me certain things but it was like did I really need to go through that experience for my dad to tell me that that's so, so